Hey, 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 getting ready to go live. We are live. <laughs> we are live. I'm here on Zoom. I'm gonna come over here and stream on Facebook as well. Here we go. All right. All right. So hopefully you guys will be coming in or you're watching this later. I am streaming on both. This is a master class talking to the soul. Talking to your soul, past lives to present, and why it even really matters. Like, what is the benefit of working in our soul energy, learning about it, and opening up to it for the present lifetime? So, welcome everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. And I am a light worker. I am a worker and teacher of the light. If you know me, you know that sound, vibration, color crystal, all of that kind of frequency energy. I am a teacher of the light. I have the mystery schools. I'm a master. I have mastery. Let's just say that. And I do teach about soul and how we work with that energy. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about tonight. I'm looking for it over here on Facebook. I'm going to share it out and then we'll get started as people are coming in as well. This is a Zoom call. If you want to have a little private attention, come on over to my Zoom. Otherwise, we're going to do it right here. We're going to talk about why and why this time of year, it is just really so important that we access this information for our path and for our life. It really is. Think about it for yourself right now. Like when's the last time you talked to your soul? It's been a hard year. Did you talk to your soul? Did you ask what's going on? And we're going to work with that. Like, what's your vision? Winter, we start getting into to visions and dreams, which is coming up next week. <sighs> Do you get the messages? Do you see them, hear them? And then what's getting in your way of living those dreams? Those are imprints. And so when we work in our soul energy and we look at what's happened, we look at past lives, we bring in messages, we can also bring in those imprints. And then that's where the healing occurs. That's where the healing occurs. And that's what's going to help you move forward and really make changes and shifts, which is what the world is calling for right now, right? Give me a thumbs up for that one. It's definitely what the world is calling for right now. All right. So let's just begin. We've got a few moments. I know it's busy out there but I love to teach and this is a valuable subject. So if you can, just for a moment, take a nice deep inhale. If you can close your eyes and exhale, send the breath all the way down. Present your spirit, presencing mind, dropping into the heart, connecting with the greater spirit, source, creator, God, however you connect with that right into the heart, know that you're known, know that you're loved. You just feel that energy all around you, calling in the guides, the masters, the teachers, the crystal beings, just creating this space. Just imagine vision like the future. What do you wanna see for next year? Envision it, feel it, see it hear it, know it, put it out there. What do you notice as you open up to your visions? Can you see? Can you hear? Can you feel? And just let that energy be out there for you. Talk to your soul. You're worthy of the messages coming in, receive them. And just from the heart, open up to that vibration of energy for you, for your visions and your dreams, all that you're seeing and hearing and knowing and feeling right now. And just bringing that awareness back. 
coming back. Noticing that shift of energy always feels good when we slow down, come into the heart and talk to our soul. So now you have set the energy. You have an idea, perhaps a little bit. We don't know all the details. Now, what is it that stops you? Think back on this past year. Like, what is it that stopped you from doing things you wanted to make changes with or do? Is there a pattern? That's what we want to look for. That's what we want to look for. The patterns, the imprints, like that thing that keeps getting in your way over and over and over. And that's what we want to go into the soul energy. Where does this come from? What is triggering it? When we recognize it, when we bring it to the light, we can actually heal it and do something about it. So I love working in the Kreshic realms. It's higher dimension. There's no judgment. It's a vibration of energy. And it really has so many amazing ways to help heal. One of, the, um, one of my clients came on my podcast and did a reading live. And we talked about like, what was that imprint for her getting in her way? All right. It was very fascinating. You can go back and find it. And one of the things that we uncovered in her Akashic reading was that in a previous lifetime, she had like, I believe, I don't remember all the details, that she had like an inn, like a little shop. And people would come in and get remedies and go out. And she kept a notebook and she would write down these things. Well, it turns out through that reading, we found out that someone came in one day and actually kind of uh, accused her you know, actually, I think it was like someone brought their wife and they were, she was needing healing and they tried, but the wife died Then they came back and they accused her. So this was all the things that we uncovered in the Akashic record, quite fascinating. But the imprint was that she got humiliated. She felt she did wrong. She was only trying to help. Her books were confiscated, her journals, her notes, and she swore contract promise. I'll never do this again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So these are the things our soul does. And then and in this lifetime, something triggers that. A question, an authority, journaling, the desire to work in the plant medicine again. All of these things are getting in her way. So once we start uncovering this, we offer some of the techniques, you know, through the rites, the Reiki and EFT and Ho'oponopono. We use those rites to help us release some of that trauma imprint, helps the healing to come forward. And then, sure enough, she was able to start working more as a healer, more in that capacity. And even recently I've noticed she has actually been making plant remedies. Yes. So these are the kind of things that come forward instead of staying stuck or sometimes our soul doesn't remember every single thing. It only remembers a little bit. We have a little bit of wisdom. And that's also why we want to work and uncover this because the wisdom the wisdom that comes forward from uh, previous lifetimes, you can use in this lifetime. Like for instance, have you ever felt like you knew stuff? Like even like plants, let's stay there for a moment. Like you have a natural affinity to learning them, knowing them, knowing what to do with them, knowing how to use them, right? That's like energy of a past life. So when you uncover that past life, the knowledge can be regained. We can release some of the hurt or the pain or the healing, but we also take the knowledge and that becomes our confidence building. Sometimes it's like how you do things. All right, personally, I talk about this all the time. I build nuts and wheels. How do I know how to do it? I don't know. I just do. I love fire circles. How do I know how to do it? I don't know. I was a camper at five years old, probably, but there's something deeper than that. Build labyrinths, work with the earth. All of this is energy that comes from another lifetime. And when we go into the records, when I go into my records, I can access that energy of shaman. And then I bring the wisdom and then I have the confidence to do the work that I'm doing and brings it forward. So think about it for yourself. What are the imprints? What are the blocks that keep you from living this vision that you set out for yourself? That's what we want to undo. That's what we want to uncover, I should say. That's what we want to open up the energy too. Let's say it that way. What is it for you? Maybe it's one or two things. Fear, you don't know if you're good enough, you don't have enough training. I don't know, whatever it may be for you. Those are the, some of the common ones. Fear of doing something new, fear of, of leaving the norm, right? Maybe you've got another job and you want to do something else. All of these things, what is it for you that gets in your way? And that's what we're going to work on. We go into the exercise. That's what we're going to work on. Jot it down, write it down. Notice what you notice. I say that often. 
All right, so the ways in which we go into this is by using all of our intuitive gifts, feeling, seeing, hearing, knowing, having the ability to use all of those gifts to bring in messages. You are worthy of receiving messages. Don't you love that? I was in one of my classes and uh, Cindy Dale's class, I did my 18th month, I guess it was year and a half, something like that. Apprenticeship, we just finished both classes. But there was a comment, it's like, you're worthy of receiving messages. It's like, yeah, I love that. You are too. Just trust, that's all we have to do. So that's what we're gonna do and we move into it. Yes, there's techniques, yes, there's things we use, yes, there's keys, but there is a formulation as with any kind of reading, tarot, any of that, but you're going to open up to your wisdom and you're going to ask these questions and then see what you receive. See what messages come in for you. That's how we work with this energy. And so I do say maybe get a pencil, get a piece of paper. I often jot down right away or anything that comes in. I don't want to like change the pattern of my thinking. I don't want to get into that logical mind, but I want to be able to go over and really kind of jot notes down so I can recall. You don't need to, but you might want to. And then I'm going to guide you through a meditation, all right? Going back to the spirit to spirit, I'm going to guide you through a meditation that helps prepare us to move into the higher dimensions. And then I'm going to guide you to ask the questions for yourself, to ask for the answers, and to bring that information in for you. All right, let me know if you have any questions, post below, put in the chat, whatever. All right. All right. So again, finding a comfortable position. If you can, take a nice deep inhale. Gonna light a little sage. Sage for transformation. Actually, it's Palo Santo. My sage bowl is over there. Yeah. But fire is great for transformation. Palo Santo is sweet. It's a wood. It's grounding. And so we're going to intentionally put this transformation out there to help us open up to our soul energy to receive the messages and understand where we are. All right. So taking a nice deep inhale, if you have any kind of sage or incense or palo santo or sweet rice go ahead and light it for yourself take a moment bring the smoke in clearing through the body connecting with the earth as you do gratitude and just reconnecting with your spirit Connecting with the greater spirit, feeling that beautiful space we created as we started. And now just start to extend the breath all the way up from the earth, through the body, through the crown, into the higher dimensions. And as you exhale, bring that breath all the way back down, moving through the body, the first chakra, the legs, the feet, all the way down into the earth. Inhale, extending through that vertical channel, the Shashinda channel, all the way up the body. And exhale, sending the breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. So you open up to the higher dimension, slowing down, using the breath, up the body. And exhale all the way down, deep into the earth. Moving through the tunnels. The tunnels of dimensions, of time and space, moving through the veil of roses, asking permission to enter into the records, your records, my records, your own records. Ask for that permission, honoring all the elements of life, fire, air, earth, water. stars, the moon, the planets, the solar system, the universe, just honoring all of the elements around us. As you move into the higher dimensions, releasing all judgments, just open up to receiving the messages, moving through the veil of roses, knowing that there are no wrong choices, right? Just experiences and these experiences are here to shape and help, to shift, to grow. 
moving into this beautiful space in the higher dimensions, into this beautiful chamber of light all around you, light, light, all around you, all of this beautiful information. The Akashic Records is all of these records of your soul. It's information, it's light, it's sound, it's all of this around you. So imagine you're just sitting in this beautiful chamber of your soul, your spirit, your light. And ask. Ask for these records to come forward. That hold the energy, the information, the messages that are creating these imprints in your life. That's what we're asking tonight. The imprints. Show me. Show me. And then notice how you bring in information. Do you hear it? See it? Feel it? Know it? That's the part we train. Repeat the question. What keeps getting in my way from living my vision? What's blocking me from my dreams? Allow yourself to be guided through this beautiful corridor of light into a room full of records, your records. See yourself in this room being guided to the very record you need right now. Go there. Notice. That information from your soul is there. Find the record, receive the messages, Maybe you'll get a message on what occurred, what the imprint is, what's needed. Just allow, no judging, just allow. We just continually ask the guardians of our record, show me, show me more. You continue to ask questions. You can ask like, what do I need to know? What is the wisdom? I like this question. What is the wisdom I can bring forward from knowing this? Big one. What is the wisdom? What is the forgiveness? And offer that. What is the energy you want to break free of? See it, hear it, feel it, busting, cut it away, chop it, release it. Just notice where it's showing up for you. Make a note. Sometimes as humans, we have to go into that work and release it out of the body consistently until the vibration is held. That's what I've noticed. That's what I experience. And this is even where you could do a little tapping. Okay, this energy, this imprint. I see it. I understand it. I choose to release it. Let me accept myself for it. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing me this imprint. I can release it. This is how we rewire. 
in that energetic field, no judgment. We don't have to get into all the drama. No, pure light, vibration, sound. And I want you to take a moment. You can keep tapping if you want and come back to tapping as often as you want. And I want you to ask your guardian to go ahead and like, go ahead and box it up for you. Like box up this like little box of records that's gonna help you unfold it over the next day or two. So that as you move into this winter season, as you open up to this energy, you have a clear picture of what you need to do for your dreams and your visions. Feel it, like feel this little energy right here. This is yours. Find it for you, right between your hands, feel this energy. And each day, I like to do 21 days, each day, three days, five days, seven days, whatever it is for you. Come back to this feeling right here, this knowledge of your soul. Choose to release that imprint. If you see it, if you acknowledge it, it can be healed. It is there. You're worthy of the messages. Feels good. Feels good to break through and open up. That's what we need going into this next year. We need the shift in consciousness. We need the higher vibration. Not the drama. Not the I can'ts. Yeah, let's open up. So find that little package that you're gonna bring back with you. Receive anything else that you want. So does I get crystals? If you wanna get it in the form of a crystal, go ahead, ask, receive. Tune it in. Lots of times I tune it in through the Lemurian quartzes. Got on Herkimers through the Herkimers too. And just bring this knowledge with you. Coming back out into that chamber of light. Thank your guardians. We start to move and tumble and travel, tumble, travel back through the tunnels, seeing the light through there, more clarity. And you see your energy coming all the way back through the veil of roses. Just imagine what that would be for you, looking a veil of roses all around, all the way grounding your energy, connecting with the grounding cord, feeling that connection back to the earth. It's Tuesday, December 14th, wherever you are, you say your date, that helps me to ground and just bring that awareness back. And as you're coming back, just blinking the eyes open. All right, stretch for a moment, take a drink of water. Let me know your comments, how you're feeling. Yeah, so there's a lot that goes on with that. And so I guess the biggest questions I get how do you trust? That's practice. What if you see and hear? That's awesome. So that's Claire audience. And that is also Claire essence, uh, see and hear. Claire audience and clairvoyance. You can get more than one way of viewing. Yep. And that's the part that we train. That's the part that you have practice with. That's the part where you start to decipher between empath energy and intuitive energy. And then you start to train because the more you train this, the more the messages will come in. You'll understand what you're receiving and you'll be able to use this over and over planning your year working your business in your in your private work in your personal work in your relationships all of this you can do that for quite fascinating and now what you want to do is notice notice as you go to make your your head maybe you're you know a small business owner and you're working with that whatever it is for you but you can continually come back to that vision Move through the imprints, come back to the vision, put the vision out there so that you can step forward as you move into the new year. Definitely quite fascinating. Notice the small shifts that come forward from it as well. Like I was saying with, with the woman that I read on the podcast, it's like 
she started doing little things that started building her practice. First, it was with sound, and then it became plants and became the very thing that the Akashic reading that we did with her uncovered. Got out of her own way. Got out of her own way. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So these are the things I teach. These are what I offer you, train you with your intuition, and then we do the practical application of the soul work. Let's say that again. Practical application of the soul work. All right, your soul purpose. And now is the time that things are shifting. This year we're talking about in astrology, the nodes are shifting, which means our purpose is shifting. Making new spiritual contracts for yourself, your path, your life. Now's the time to do it. Amazing work to be able to do this. Definitely. So I do have a group program. It's the Intuitive Path Group Program Winter Season. Fascinating group. Great. We meet online. It gives you accountability. We use all of these rights for your everyday life. And this becomes our focus. Not only do we work with soul energy, we also work with our ancestral energy. There is a fine line. It weaves back and forth. It weaves together. And so we do start to work with that as well. Things that we take on as a family, family curses. And we start to clear a lot of that out. We work in the 10th chakra for that. The soul energy is more in the 8th chakra. The family is in the 10th. So we're working all of this energy using all the tools. Streams of grace, absolute light, all of the rites, Reiki, intuition, tarot, EFT, stones and crystals. Check it out. I have some great bonuses coming up for it. If you uh, sign up by the solstice next week, include some Reiki attainments. Check it out. Schedule a call with me. I also have a spring 2022 spiritual retreat in Costa Rica. Big news. Reiki shamanism. Check it out. Let me know if you're interested. All this you can find on my website. I would love to have you. If you schedule a call with me, you do get a bonus for joining. So schedule that call. I'll put the, I'll put the link over here in the chat. All you have to do is call. We can talk about it. There you go. That's the retreat. And I would love to have you. I will be talking next week. I'll be doing another master class. We're going to be working with the winter solstice next Tuesday. Again, like this, free master class. And I'll talk a little bit more then about Reiki and shamanism and what we're going to be doing down in the retreat for sure. All right, everybody. Let me know your thoughts. How did that work for you? Have you ever gone into your Akashic records? Do you, do you trust? Do you trust? Is this something you're ready to learn more about? Let me know. I would love to have you in the class or on the retreat or just in here learning more and more about your own ability to work with your soul energy. So in order to close, let's take a moment, take a nice deep inhale and exhale. And just imagine a beautiful crystal ball above your head. And just see your name in red. And just imagine reaching up and releasing energy all the way through, separating our energies out, allowing this energy to come through your energy field, feeling any holes you may have created, feeling yourself connecting with Mother Earth. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Just bringing the awareness back. Coming back. All right. Reach out. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for joining me to your spirit. Namaste.